Assalamualaikum Hi everyone Okay, I want to continue our lecture uh, For the FET DC Biasing So, we have done uh, several circuit For the JFET and also DMOSFET Okay, but we stop at uh, The lecture stop at uh, Self bias For the the MOSFET and now I continue with the voltage divider bias configuration. Okay, uh, the voltage divider actually uh, using the same uh, using a the MOSFET which it has a characteristic similar with the JFET. Okay, and um, we have discussed discuss the characteristic. And actually, uh, it is similar with the JFET self bias configuration, except for the device is changed to DMOS VAT. Okay, now I want to show you the example of the voltage divider. The question is to determine IDQ and VGSQ, and also determine the VDS. Okay, first thing. Uh, for this question, we need to find IDQ where in which it is flow from here from D to S. Okay, the ID flow from D to S, and then to determine value of the VDS. So VDS is here, VDS. Okay, so you have uh two cho uh two option uh to solve using mathematical method or graphical method okay let's we uh, try with the mathematical method first okay first you need to draw the dc equivalent circuit okay remove all the ac element and it is better if you change the source here Okay, into this equivalent circuit. So you make it like the batteries, and this is the eighteen volt. Okay, then okay. After that, find the equation for the voltage divider bias. Again, every time, uh, when you see the meaning of equation for circuit voltage divider bias, it means that you need to find what is the VGS for the circuit. Okay, this VGS represent the circuit uh, for the voltage divider. We know that the VGS is here. VGS. Okay, so for the voltage divider, we cannot do loop. Okay, okay. this method is, uh, is wrong actually. So you need to find um, the VG and also VS value. Okay, then we know that VG, VG here is equal to the uh, VTH that we calculated later, okay, using the voltage divider rule. Okay, so here we get the VG value is equal with the VTH using voltage divider rule formula, which is the VDD multiply with R2 and Divide by R1 plus R2. So, here I get Vg equal to 1.5 volt. Next, after you get the Vg, now we get the Vs. So, Vs is at the S terminal here. Okay, because the S is here and it measure the ID multiply with Rs. So, here the equation Vs equal to 700, uh, 750 uh, ID. Okay. And then, finally, we combine the Vgs equation. So, we get Vg is 1.5 here. And this negative 750 ID is from the Vs. Okay. Because Vg minus Vs. So, we done uh, for the VGS equation. Next, okay, we get the equation for the device. 
So we are using Demoswet. So again, Demoswet will use the Shockley equation. So it is similar with the JFET. So again, we use the same formula here. Insert the IDSS value and also the VP value. After that, okay, uh, I call this is the second equation. Sorry. And this is uh, the VGS is first equation. Okay, so you see there is a VGS here. And in this equation, you require to insert VGS value. So insert equation number 1 into equation number 2 here. Then you expand this equation. So here is 6 milli. Okay, multiply with 1 minus. Okay, this is the VGS. 1.5 minus 750 ID over negative 3. The VP, right? And you can uh, you expand this equation. Okay. If you see, I uh, write down here with a red color, yeah, red bracket, okay, to make you understand, you need to calculate this area first, okay, and then means that 1.5 divided by negative 3, we get the answer is negative 0.5. And here, negative 750 ID divided by negative 3, we get positive 250 ID. Okay. And then, you expand this bracket. So, this part become positive. And this part become uh, negative. So, what I did here, 1 plus 0 0.5. Okay. I get 1.5. And here, negative and positive become negative. So, this is the equation before you expand. Okay. Then, you solve this equation first. Then, after that, okay, uh, I get this answer. Okay. After I expand this equation, okay, it become here like this. Okay. And, finally, I multiply with 6 milli okay multiply 6 milli in this equation so you get this answer okay and again okay before you assign each value as a b and c um, what do you say uh, to solve the equation using a uh, quadratic equation like like this okay okay this equation is equal to one i uh, sorry equal to one id so you need to make it zero here so there is a id i bring this id okay minus with negative 4.5 it become negative 5.5 id so this is the final equation the correct answer Okay, and then, okay, this is A, and then this part is B, and this is C. A, B, and C. Okay, so, you solve using this formula. Okay, you need to remember this formula. And then, or you can use your calculator using the form, uh, equation, and you get id1 and also id2 all right again uh how we know that uh, this id is uh idq because you have two id here again uh compare normally we compare with the idss right however for the demosfet uh the current can be exceed Oh, sorry, can be bigger than the IDSS because remember the graph. Okay, IDSS will limit the current. However, for the DMOSFET, the current is always bigger than the IDSS. So, in this case, the ID1 and ID2 might be correct. Both are correct because 
uh, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, exceed the value of the IDSS or not. Okay, so we need to uh, calculate for the VGS. Then from that, we compare the VGS with the given VP. Only VP will... From the VP, we know whether the VGS is acceptable or not. Okay. So, here the explanation, uh, I already uh, put it here. Even though it seems that the value ID is 3.12 mA is acceptable. Due to the value ID equal to 11.55 mA has exceeded the limit of IDSS. But remember that ID can exceed IDSS for the MOSFET. To make sure which value is acceptable, check the value by inserting into the VGS equation. So, this is the equation that we have done before. Okay, 1.5 minus 750 id so you insert id with the value of 11.55 and 3.12 milliampere and you get this answer okay then we compare from the result above for id 11.5 11.55 milliampere the vgs obtained has exceed the limit of vp our the vp given is negative 3 so here is negative 7.16 it shows that the uh, this value is incorrect and thus the value for the id 3.12 milli ampere now we take we take this value and this is the idq then the vgsq is negative 0.84 okay 